What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Killer NC. And today I bring you a video about the Cronus Max. Uh, basically a little history. This is with this device you can pretty much use any controller. Um, with well in my case it's gonna be a PS4. Um, and the fact is I like the PS3 controllers better. Um, I guess I've just got used to them so with this little baby here you'll be able to use a PS3 with the PS4 you can use an Xbox for the PS4 vice versa uh, pretty much any device out there you can even use the keyboard with the PS4 or Xbox one um, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to get this running um, the first thing you're gonna do is uh, go to a web page you're gonna download the software I'm gonna show you all that in a minute uh, you're gonna download the software and then you're gonna basically sync it with your device and you'll be good to go um, so the first thing is let me get back on the computer and I'm gonna show you uh, the web page and what the software where to find the software to download I'm also going to put links of all this stuff uh, with the video. So I'm back at my computer and I'm going to show you the software and then I'll go back to the device. Uh, in my case, like I said, it's going to be the PS4 and I'll show you how to hook it up. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, www.consoletuner.com. Like I said, I'll have the link to the website uh, in the description. So once you get here, you're going to go software, download, and you're going to download GTuner. And the latest software as of right now is 2.20. Um, that software will support PS4 and Xbox One. We'll go ahead and hit you go ahead and hit download save that once you open it you will get uh, where is it at right here it's G tuner exe I put a shortcut to the desktop makes it easy for me to get it um, so once you do once you download that go ahead and open it it's gonna look something like this and Really, the only things that I've done, um, and it works. I don't like going, you know, into all these thing, different things you can do with it. Um, just go to tools, and then you're gonna go to options. You're gonna go to device, and here's where you will pick. Uh, you can pick your device. It's not showing it right now because I don't have it hooked up. Um, but here's where you would pick. You pick PS4, whatever, uh, Xbox One. So once you're done with that, that's the only thing that I actually even touch. You go ahead and hit close. You would close that. And I will show you now what to do next. Okay. So now that you downloaded the software, and you went ahead and did the options and set it up for the, your device. Mine's PS4, like I said. Uh, what you're going to do is go ahead and get the cable that came with the Cronus Max. It's pretty much a USB extender. Um, you're going to go ahead and hook up the Cronus Max to the end. And I'll do that right now. Okay. So now that that's hooked up you're gonna go ahead and get if you can see it it says AU authenticate um, so right now we're we're at a good stage and all we have to do now is uh, connect the USB uh, to the controller that you're gonna be using okay I'm back so you can see I have the USB that came with the Cronus Max connected to my PS4 then the Cronus Max itself connected to the end and then on the other end of the Cronus Max, you're going to connect the USB to the controller you want to use. And here's the end. This is for the PS3. 
And basically all you have to do now is connect the PS3 controller to it. Here we are with the PS4. We have a PS3 controller. Okay, so there it is working. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, let me know and leave a comment. Um, as always, I appreciate the like. Subscribe. Uh, we'll be making more videos with headsets, uh, different devices. So stay tuned.